the internet, my name is Andrea Hanskin and this is Thrifting in the Gem City. Today's video, we are talking about sustainable socks and underwear because obviously we don't want to be thrifting our socks and underwear. I will thrift just about anything, but there is a point when I draw the line and I do not want to wear some of these underwear or use socks. So I really kind of have that as like a blind spot on my sustainability mission. I was thinking I will be sustainable in everything I buy, but socks and underwear, I just kind of have to like suck it up and buy fast fashion for those. Um, but I'm realizing that's not the case. There's actually companies out there that are sustainably producing um, new, obviously not used, socks and underwear. Um, so I want to talk about three companies today, and I'm actually going to be doing this video in like kind of like sections because I just got my first package today. I'm still waiting on the other two, but I want to be able to open these and start using them as soon as possible. So I'm just going to film them as they come in. And um, after I kind of give you my initial reactions today, I will follow up in a couple of days once you know um, how the products work after I've worn them. So the first company I'm gonna be talking about is Soulmate Socks. And they are a awesome company um, from what I can tell. I haven't opened the package yet, but just looking at their website, I wanna talk a little bit about their mission before I even open the package. So I have some notes right here. So they're a certified B Corporation. And basically what that is, if you think about like fair trade for like coffee or food, it's like that, but just for like other kind of consumer goods. They're made in the USA, they've been in North Carolina. All of their employees are paid a living wage and they get generous medical benefits. Um, all their yarn is recycled cotton yarn from Recovertech. So it talks about this process where they take um, in production of other goods, kind of scraps from um, the, that production, get ground down into yarn and spun into that yarn to create the socks. So all of the yarn is not only cotton, which is like a more sustainable fiber than um, polyester, it is all recycled, which is awesome. They don't use any broken cotton. Every pair of socks saves 162 gallons of water, 1.12 pounds of CO2 emissions, and 1.32 square feet of landfills. So that's pretty awesome. And the last thing is um, they actually do carbon offsets. So when I was checking out, there was a little box I could check that said, would you like to um, donate a dollar to a carbon offset? And I said, sure. And when I donate a dollar, they're going to match that dollar. Pretty awesome company. Let's get into the actual unboxing of it to see how I feel about the product. Something else sustainability related. It did not come in a poly mailer. It came in this brown craft paper. And it's an eco-natural manufactured with 100% recycled paper, 90% post-consumer, and it's printed with water-based ink. So even the way they ship it is this really very small, no extra frills about it. Um, the shipping thing that is I can recycle and it is actually made of recycles. Oh my gosh, these are so fun. So I didn't talk about it really, but they have these really fun patterns and not just like plain black socks or whatever. These are just so fun and beautiful. They're thick. I know these are gonna last a long time. Um, they're not gonna get holes in them like really quickly. Like a lot of my socks that I bought from like Target and Old Navy do. Something else that was really cool on their website is they actually have a tutorial on how to darn socks. I already know how to darn socks and it's something I do all the time. I find it very therapeutic. Not only is it a good way to keep your socks in good repair so you can not have to throw them away, you can keep wearing them, but also I just think it's like the most relaxing thing. I've never really been able to like knit or crochet, um, but I do like to darn and that's kind of my version of knitting and crocheting. But it talks about that. So I'm probably gonna do a video at some point where I talk more about darning. Um, but basically it's like when you get a hole, it's you reweave like yarn to create a pack that's really sturdy. I think it's cool that they're encouraging that because obviously any pair of socks, no matter how good a quality they are, are going to get holes in them at some point. So I could feasibly wear these for the rest of my life if I just keep darning them. So yeah, I'm just very satisfied. I can show you like every sock is different. So this is a pair, but like they don't exactly match. They coordinate, but they're a little bit different. Um, and I decided to get the tall version because I figure I can wear these to like bed and stuff and around the house, or if I wear like boots, I can wear it with the boots. Um, but if I'm satisfied with these, I'm probably gonna order. They have ankle socks, which is what I wear kind of on a daily basis, especially in the summer. So I might order some ankle socks and try those out as well. But for now, we're gonna work with these. I will wear these sometime this week and I will do a little update on how I feel after wearing them a couple of times and let you know if they are as amazing as they seem right from unboxing them. All right, so I am back and it's been quite some time since I filmed the first part of this video. Um, for you, it was only a couple seconds, but for me, it was like 30 weeks, I think. 
After I had that first package, I ended up going on a trip and then I came back and the packages were here, but then I just didn't film and didn't film and didn't film because life got in the way. Um, but I'm finally filming. I literally have not opened these packages even though I've had them and they've been sitting in my room. So the suspense is quite literally killing me, but I'm gonna continue the suspense even longer because before I open this package, I'm gonna talk to you about this company. So the package I have first is from Parade. And Parade is a sustainable underwear company. And like I said, this is something I've been searching for. Can't buy underwear secondhand. I wanted to find it sustainably. The reason I heard about um, Parade is from a content creator called Macy Eleni. Her Instagram is Macy Eleni, but her YouTube is called Blaze and Blaze. Highly recommend. I'll link her somewhere. Um, she's just fantastic and wonderful and just super inspiring. So I heard about Parade from her. And just some, I have my notes again, some highlights of Parade and things you should know about their company that make them so great is it's very size inclusive modeling. Not only do they have size inclusive sides that you can order, but when you look at the models on their website and on their Instagram, and even the influencers that they choose to work with, it's not just straight size like models. It's women of all sizes, all body types, all races. Just, they're doing a really great job. I think like people see themselves and the products that they're gonna buy because I know at least for me personally, as someone who lives in like a little bit of a larger body, I want to be able to buy something that can envision how it will look like on me. So, I guess it's all fine and dandy if I, I see it comes in my size, but if I only see that product being shown on someone that's so much smaller than me, then it's gonna make me less inclined to want to support that brand. So that's something I really love about Crate. And aside from their size inclusivity and size inclusive modeling, um, they use a special fabric called a replay fabric. And it's 85% recycled polyamide. So yes, it is a synthetic, but it's recycled, which is awesome. But I'm a little bit nervous because I always wear cotton underwear and these are not cotton. So am I gonna like the feel of it? Am I gonna like the way it wears? I will let you know, but I do think it's great um, that they are recycled and the styles are, you'll see, but way cuter than cotton underwear. Um, and then they are also geotech certified, which means that not only are they safe for the human that is wearing them, but also the production is totally safe for the water supply in that area. That's a big problem in clothing manufacturing is that it really pollutes the waters, which harms underprivileged communities the most because those are the communities that tend to be close to these factories. So I think it's really incredible that they are protecting those waters. And also, part of their mission is um, dedicated towards sex education. So 1% of their revenue is related to Planned Parenthood, which is um, a cause that's near and dear to my heart. I'm sure it's near and dear to a lot of yours as well. So you're really doing a lot of good with each of these purchases. That being said, it's finally time to open this package. And I forgot to mention, the packaging is 100% compostable, so that's awesome. Oh my god. They're so tiny, oh my gosh. First of all, I got stickers, I am so excited, oh my gosh. I got so many, like a whole pack. I've seen that you got stickers with that and you got this many. These are going everywhere now, from now on. This is like literally, Parade is like not just a brand. I feel like it's like become this like movement in itself. And I see all these like cool girls on Instagram with their Parade stickers and now I'm one of them. So I'm very happy about that. Two little packages. I kind of forget what I ordered, so this will be a surprise for both of us. Let's start with this one. So it comes in its own little thing. 100% compostable, biodegrades in 30 days. So like it looks like plastic, but it's really not plastic. Oh my gosh, look at this color. I'm obsessed. Oh my God, it's like this bright pink. And I think this is called the boy short. So it's really high rise, which is perfect for me. I always wear like really high waist jeans, so this will not interfere with that at all. The fabric feels really nice. Like once again, it definitely feels very different than what I'm used to with underwear because I'm used to cotton. Um, oh wow, I'm just like living for this color. Something that Parade talks about a lot on their website and on their Instagram is how, and I've heard my friends complain about this too, they want to support sustainable brands, but a lot of sustainable brands like look sustainable. And like, you know, it's like earth tones, super like natural. And like, that's a really cool aesthetic, but it's not everyone's aesthetic. And I know I'm really more of like a bright colors person. So this I think is really cool that this, is like bright pink, super fun, but it's also sustainable. So I'm excited about these. And there's one more pair that I ordered from Parade. One, these are red. Oh my gosh. So this is a different style. This, this one's a little bit more um, 
and this high rise in red, super cute. And I got both of these in 2X. I just used their size chart. Like again, this color is fabulous. It has this little mesh detail that makes it really cute. And um, these look like they'd be really comfortable. So far, I'm very impressed with Clay. Not only their mission, but like these colors are wowing me. And I got stickers, so I really am happy right now. And I do have one more brand to show you, um, and it's another underwear brand. So get ready for that. Okay, and that third company I want to talk about is Me Undies. I was kind of torn between whether I wanted to purchase from Parade or Me Undies, so I decided to get two pairs from each. Um, so something I really loved about Me Undies and what originally drew me to it is um, they also have some really great things going on with the way that they're advertising, the way they're marketing themselves, as far as like inclusive. Their size models were a little bit less um, diverse than Parade's as far as like size. But something I do really enjoy about them is a big part of MeUndies like marketing is that they'll do these matching um, underwear sets for couples and I think that's really cute like being able to match with your significant other. But the best part about it in my opinion is that when they're marketing these like oh matching sets, they're not just showing straight couples. So there's a lot of LGBTQ representation which I think is so important. Um, just, I mean, as someone who's part of the LGBTQ community, it's nice to see um, a couple represented that is two women because that's kind of what I align with. Um, so that was really cool. And aside from kind of the way that they're marketing themselves with that, I was able to find some things regarding sustainability with them, but not quite as much as the other two companies. So I did want to talk a little bit about what I found. Um, so they are made from a natural, sustainable, micromodal fiber, which sounds awesome. But I looked into it and it's a beechwood fiber. And I do need to take a little moment to talk about this whole kind of tree pulp fiber that is really easy to market as sustainable because it's like, oh, it's made from trees, it's all natural. It like biodegrades and all those things are true. But a lot of these fibers can really contribute to deforestation. I never thought about this or even like knew this was a problem until I read The Conscious Closet by Elizabeth Klein. She talks about it in that book and it really opened my eyes. Um, so I don't want to say whether this fabric is good or bad without doing more research. It does say on the website that it's sustainably sourced. And if we take the word for it, that's awesome. But I always am a little bit suspicious with these kind of tree fiber fabrics. So maybe, um, I can send them an email and see if I can get a response and see if what they say about their fabrics. But I'm not 100% convinced that this is a super sustainable fabric, but nonetheless, I was excited to try it out. So another thing that they had um, in kind of the sustainability realm that wasn't mentioned in parades was talking about their factories and how they treat their workers. So it says that they um, operate on three principles, fair trade, empowerment, and transparency. Again, there really weren't a lot of details backing that up, but the fact that they mentioned it is a good sign in my opinion. It shows that they're at least holding themselves accountable. So, with all that being said, I wanted to show y'all the undies. And the fun thing about um, me undies is they have a lot of really cool wacky prints, which I think is kind of fun to have a little bit of fun with your underwear. So I kind of forget what I ordered. I remember that they're really fun prints. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so these, I got the little bikini and Unicorns. I love unicorns. I mean, I could not be a bigger fan of this. Feeling the fabric, it is very soft. I don't know, it's not as soft as I expected it to be. But everyone always goes on about how MeUndies are so soft. Um, and like, it is soft, but I'm not like blown away. I just, I wish they were softer. Like, maybe, maybe that's me being picky, but I was told they were like the softest underwear on the planet and they're soft, but they're not that soft. Second pair are these coffee shop underwear i love a good coffee shop i don't drink coffee actually surprise a lot of people i just drink like teas and like i'll get a refresher at starbucks i don't actually drink actual coffee but i do love a good coffee shop it's kind of where i live especially when i'm studying and stuff back when i was in school another disappointing thing about mandy's no stickers like no stickers at all what's the point of that but I am excited about the Meandies as well as the Parade. I just got a little bit more excited about Parade, but I will definitely be in about maybe like a week or so. I'll be popping back. Um, it'll be a week for me, a couple seconds for you. All right, first things first. I would like to formally apologize for anything that I ever said about Meandies and how they're not as soft as I thought they were gonna be. Oh my God. When you're actually wearing them, they are so soft. 
like the most comfortable thing I've ever I've ever put on my body. It was like I couldn't I like couldn't even feel that I was wearing anything, and they just they didn't move around, they didn't bunch up. They were super comfortable, breathable. I went on a run in these, and I still felt like they were super breathable, and I was super comfortable even when I was exercising in them. So I 100% am a fan of me and these. If I said anything schedule about them, I apologize. Obviously. The stuff I said about um, the tree pulp still kind of stands. That's something you take into your own consideration if you're going to buy them. But as far as comfort level, it's amazing. Now I'm talking about Parade. I also found these to be incredibly comfortable, which I guess I was expecting them to be kind of more like... I used to buy from Victoria's Secret a lot back in the day. I don't support them anymore. They use prison labor and they're not good quality. And um, they have their CEO made weird statements about transgender gender women and plus size women and I just don't stand for that but I still have a lot of the underwear back from when I did used to purchase from them and I kind of expected it to be like that and my Victoria's Secret underwear is not very comfortable but these the parade underwear is super duper comfortable even though it's more of like a aesthetically pleasing underwear like I feel like I can move in it it's again like I did forgot I was even wearing it so and also I was worried about it being breathable it was so breathable I I have nothing but good things to say about both parade and the undies. And moving on to the socks, from Soulmate Socks. Again, amazing things to say. There's kind of a lot less to say about it because it's just a pair of socks. Um, but I can tell that they're gonna last a long time. They're super comfortable, super warm. I mean, they're just socks. <laughs> but I definitely will be purchasing from them in the future. I think I'm gonna order some of their um, like ankle socks so that I can wear them more in the summer with tennis shoes. But I'm a big fan of all three of these companies. I'm so happy this turned out as well as it did. I think a lot of times it's really easy, especially with things that you maybe don't think about that much, like socks and underwear, to just get the cheapest option possible. And um, I'm gonna, again, put the prices on the screen like I did earlier in the video. But yes, I paid more for these items. Yes, they're more expensive than going to Target. But the quality and the comfort and just the peace of mind knowing that there's good companies doing good in the world is priceless to me. Like I do not regret these purchases at all and I would 100% recommend all three of these companies. Well thank you so much for coming for another video. Um, this channel has a lot of thrifting content as well as other sustainability and sustainable fashion related content. You can go ahead and subscribe for more, give it a like if you like this video, and just remember the clothes you wear can change the world.